Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. <gasps> what is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You genius. never listen to any American Girl set. Pick a color. Hmm, I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No holograms. No holograms. None! No, 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 no holograms! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. See? You see? Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bro. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Want to come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. <gasps> She's so into him. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss! She did it! I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. 
Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, yeah. I know. I. Somebody's got a crush. Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. Hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, girl, she's going to come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, <clears throat> if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. <laughs> no way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you. And the winner for prom queen goes to Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney. First, she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen. It's time for Plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile, Brad, Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I I lied, okay? What? Why would you? Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh. Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm gonna go choose the stick. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Kit, stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you could understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey girls, wanna go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back! Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name. Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait. Girls? Mom. What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry... Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop! I wish Leah was frozen. Unfreeze her! I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying! She made you forget- I wish for Kit to fall asleep. Hmm... <sighs> Why would you do that? I... 
Is that my wand? No, Leah. Ugh. Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh. Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive, forgive you. you. Here's your wand back, but I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. What? My wand! Happy birthday. Look what came in the mail. An egg? It's your very own magical creature. Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now. Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> It hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. Uh -oh. That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now and don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. I hurt you. What is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, shh, shh. I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom? What did you do to her? Pew pew. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet. But obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work.
Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please! Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because... We want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know... I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> You ran away. Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please, then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter, and I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you, and this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. 
I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on her face? <sighs> well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh no, I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll- Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. Yes. Emily! Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales and... She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt.
You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? <clears throat> Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them. <clears throat> Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh dear, okay honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... 